to our news. Is the record holder for Stellar Cool. Claps of thunder announce this process somewhere on Earth as often as 50 times a second. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. Ladies and gentlemen, we had an X class flare. Active sunspot AR2205 erupted again on November 7th at 1726 Universal Time, producing a potent X1 class solar flare and CME. Extreme ultraviolet radiation from the flare ionized the upper layers of Earth's atmosphere, producing a short lived HF radio blackout on the day side of our planet. We do not yet know if the CME is Earth directed. Stay tuned for updates, which I will, I promise. Solar flares and coronal mass ejections are the new nipples. You might be saying to yourself, what do you mean, Thor? How are solar flares and coronal mass ejections the new nipples? Well, let me tell you, back in the day, American men and women, mothers and fathers, got together to decide what is one of the most destructive things to a young man or woman's mind. And that was simple. It was the nipple that goes on the breast. That's why there's been such an effort over the last hundred years to censor, to keep people safe from seeing nipples, right? Okay, so solar flares are kind of like the new nipples, man. Or even though a lot of the cameras are breaking and not working, now when there is a solar flare coronal mass ejection, and there have been like a hundred in the last two weeks, we've had a ton of X-class flares, we've had a ton of M-class flares, we've had a ton of coronal mass ejections. We have not gotten to see many of them. One of the reasons I started covering the subject two years ago is because it, the sun was a mystery and it was available on so many amazing cameras. So I could access the data and bring it to you and we could discuss it. Well, as is new American science and new American technology, whereas we used to go forwards, now we go backwards. And so when I started out, we had a ton of great, beautiful, awesome cameras to monitor the sun now we have very few and the ones we do have if there is something super freaking interesting hey guess what they censor that shit out i guess because nasa doesn't want to take the chance of even a single emo scaredy cat seeing a solar flare fearing its doom and then cutting himself with a hello kitty butter knife and having to go to the hospital or something the point of this video is there was an X-Class flare. It might have been Earth-directed. But we're not going to get to see really any good footage of it. They've already, you know, they cut it out on the Lasco, which is what we're looking at now. And, you know, as you can see, there are several good coronal mass ejections or flares that we're not even getting to take a look at, you know? Does that make me sad? Hell no. Why? Well, I gave up on emotion like two years ago. Maybe a year ago. I think maybe during the Common Ison escapade. I think one reason that science and humanity get along so well is that humanity is a giver and science is a taker and somehow they balance their relationship together beautifully people give science takes you give your money science takes it but you do get something back like a handful of blue and white photographs or one or two mars comet photographs or a fancy new geoengineered disease Chemtrails. Who doesn't love chemtrails, man? I know as a kid, my grandmother used to say, everybody loves chemtrails. And I'd say, Grandma, what are you talking about? And she'd say, I'm not your grandmother, son. Now shut up or I'll stick this knife in you. And well, that wasn't my grandmother. What I'm trying to do here is match the insanity that has been the world in solar physics. All right, did you see that X-Class flare in there? Yeah, no, you didn't. Because there's, you know, like I say, even for the cameras that are watching they censor that stuff i know that i haven't seen nipples other than my own in like two years that's made me a better person all i do is work don't ever fool around have any fun i just work and that's what the government wants they don't want you having fun and maybe that's a big conspiracy is that nipples lead to fun you know what i'm saying and our country's too broke our country's in too much debt for you to have time for fun do you hear me so remember Nipples are bad, and uh, it's good that they edit out all the really interesting stuff that happens in solar flares. And as you all know, it has been well documented that the great news is the stereo behind cameras down, right? Okay. But 
on this no nipple solar physics policy during the most exciting double peak minimal solar maximum I've ever known that has been filled with activity solar flares and x-class flares we've had the stereo behind down and the stereo head have a dependency rate worse than a drummer now if you've never been in a band drummers are awesome but extremely flaky I believe the one on Spinal Tap kept spontaneously combusting so even though it is the seventh Stereo Head E UVI 195 camera has not been updated since the third, the 171 since the second, 284 since the first. Yeah, look at that. Also, they stopped updating the cool differential camera that Soho used to provide us. See the Lasco combos down here? Yeah, I used to show those all the time. They're cool cameras. Because whereas getting photographs in blue and white or red and white is awesome and shows how far technology has come it is always interesting to get another color so I enjoyed getting you know those photos with some gray so you have blue white and gray or red white and gray but no uh, that stopped too for some reason so we probably got the reverse side action sunspot x-class flare there you go more x-class flares but it's like nipples you won't get to see them Sweet, man. Stereo ahead hasn't been updated. Whoa, there's a really good happy image for you on our Venus lens flare camera. Apparently, the antimatter lens flare is huge. Stereo behind is dead. Stereo A is limping. My good old favorite camera, the Eve X ray, has been offline since July. The Canadian France Hawaii telescope is still offline for maintenance and as you can see it's been offline since August 27th I emailed the two guys at the observatory that they give you emails for and I said hey guys I was just curious when you know the maintenance was gonna be over and neither one of them wrote me back and of course the sighting spring observatory has been defunded and will be going down interesting times indeed <laughs> Just keeps going offline for a couple days, come back on. Going offline for a couple days, come back on. are interesting solar times and these are definitely interesting solar fleet times it's almost like they're marked man except we know they don't have any genitalia all right that's the deal more wacky weirdness in the world am i surprised no are you surprised no god bless everybody be cool stay cool